I would say this is fairly majestic. Hello, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program with Tabernush Interplanetary. What's next, you ask? I saw something in the uh, Mission Control last time that piqued my interest. All the way down here at the bottom, kick off space tourism. Millionaire Tito Kerman dreams of going to space. He's willing to pay his way. 60,000 reward for completion. All you gotta do is take this guy into orbit for four hours. Accept contract. Okay, so, Mark 1 Command Pod. Science. We haven't done any science in orbit yet. What is the lightest here? Mark 1 Command Pod. Beautiful. Parachute. Heat shield. Looks like a space station, right? Now we're going to open. Our recent moon rocket. Drop that there, but we only want this part of it. The rest of this. Goodbye. Let's get rid of that bearing for now. 6,000 Delta B. That is so much. But the craft is cheap. We'll keep it. We don't mind being slightly over-engineered. In fact, maybe we'll even try and go into a polar orbit and see if we can land at the South Pole. Okay, so what else do we need? There's only 17 parts. My goodness. Let's put on a full science suite. Twenty-six parts, fifty-five hundred delta V. Let's go to space. Uh, wait, one more thing. One more thing we almost forgot. Two more things we almost forgot. Getting ahead of ourselves here. We need a separator. <laughs> that is going to be important. And we should have a stabilizer. Let's not make this any bigger than we need. Okay, well, since we're thinking of going to a polar orbit, let's launch from Woomerang. It's at 45 degrees north. Here we are at Woomerang. Let's load passengers. Thanks for reminding us. There's Tito. Tito, hello. All right, SAS on. Full throttle. Launch. Lean into the north. It takes about an extra thousand delta V to go into a polar orbit uh, because we're fighting against the rotation of Kerbin. Usually when we launch from uh, KSC, we get a nice little boost of free momentum, free angular momentum from being on the equator and launching in the direction of, uh, of Kerbin's rotation. So this is a little bit more challenging than usual, but we've got so much extra Delta V on this rocket, it's not going to be a problem. There we go, heading straight north. Let's blow 
for Daring. It's certainly refreshing to not have to worry about antenna at all. We have no connection to KSC and we're not worried about it. Alright, let's do material study here and see what space near Kerbin. We'll keep that. Who knows when we'll get into space next with a uh, one of these big, big old science juniors. Oh shit. <laughs> Almost forgot to start our second, uh, second stage. Okay, we'll transmit that. Oh no, we'll keep it. Oh, we get crew reports from every over every biome. That's pretty nice. Check our contract. We've got our passenger. We've got to be in orbit above 75,000 for four hours. Okay, well, we're going to attain orbit pretty soon. And they're just going to have to pull our periapsis up above 75,000. How you doing, Tito? You look a little scared. Keep that. Oh, this is going to be a science bonanza. We're getting all these warnings here because they're both of the command pods are trying to store the same experiment. Can't take photographs in space. Okay, so our apoapsis is plenty high. Now let's see if we can get to in space low, in space high. Get our apoapsis up above 250. Might be some more science to do there. And then we'll cruise up to our apoapsis, pull up our periapsis, and that should be all it takes. Keep collecting these crew, port crew reports along the way. I dig that. I dig that. Periapsis is not above 75,000 meters. Crew report of the shores. Perfect. Hey, I can see Jeb's ego from here. In a polar orbit, given enough time, we should go over pretty much every biome. Do some real science farming on this mission. Not that we, you know, haven't been doing enough science farming as it is. High over Kerbin. Okay. We're gonna go prograde. Just a little tap on the uh, throttle. Contract, close to a thousand, time remaining, four hours. Now, may, this is maybe a good chance to uh, take a quick look for the first time, perhaps, at our life support menu. Notice Jeb and Tito are both starving. We didn't bring any supplies with us. Um, fortunately, they can go 15 days without supplies before it really starts to bother them severely. Similarly, in this uh, in this cramped quarters, they can go seven days um, habitation timer, home timer. That's basically their uh, level of stir craziness. So we've got plenty here to keep us going. Uh, we're not going to worry about the electric charge timer. We can always refill that with our alternator. Um, we've got plenty to keep us going here. 
But if we're going to be going on trips longer than about seven days, and especially longer than 15 days, we're really going to need to worry about bringing some supplies, making sure the spaceship is spacious enough. Uh, and as soon as we start trying to go out to, say, Minmus, that's going to become a concern. Southern Ice, sh ice Shelf, that's where we're going to try and land. Where is Kerbin? Below us? Above us. Aha, that makes sense. Let the time pass. We have uh, four hours to float through space. That's quite something. Man, I would pay 60,000 ker bucks for this. Not even thinking twice. I would say this is fairly majestic. Tito, you're getting your money's worth. You better leave us a good review on Kerbal Yelp. Kelp? <laughs> leave us a good kelp review. Over the Badlands! Hey, look at this. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you say? My collection's complete. Keep experiment. All right, Tito. I think I spent an entire day in space, in a day and seven minutes. That's right. All you have to do, recover Tito Kerman. Well, here comes the fun part. Re-entry. We're going to do our damnedest to land on the southern ice shelf. Uh, southern ice shelf. Impact biome water. We're over the ice shelf right now. A risk here. We're going to point our engines down a bit. We want to start losing altitude more quickly.
Oops, that's not it. That's not what I do. Very well, like this. Come on, Impact Fire Seven Extra. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. We're over the southern right shelf. Impact fire seven southern right shelf. I just hope we survive re-entry. That last little bit of fuel out of there. Goodbye stage. Shield, we're counting on you. Hold on to your butt, Tito. You too, Jeb. We cannot afford to lose our last pilot. Got the camera, at least we're gonna get it all in living color. High definition. Science Junior is our weak point. If it burns up, our two stages get separated. Everyone's going to die. But wait, no. This is looking decidedly optimistic. The Science Junior is hovering around. 70% Fire those parachutes Beautiful. Look at all that science we have to collect. Southern Ice Shelf Science Bonanza. Just love to recover Tito, but first Jeb's gonna take a step outside. He's not gonna jump. Dear God, he's not gonna jump. Wasn't even wearing his helmet that whole time. My goodness, Jeb. You are a madman. Tito? You got a bargain, my friend. Recover vessel. Kalis! 138 science earned. 344,000 kerbucks. Tito Kerman, advanced to level one. This has been a great day. Thank you all for joining us. See you next time. Fly safe.